All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I'm driving and I see this. See if you can see what I... All right, see the trash here? I see a toy, a lot of toys. I'm gonna go see what this is. I just saw it and I pulled over. Are you kidding me? Looks like there's some water damage. But there's a... Is this not toys? Oh my god. <laughs> some of the stuff's new in the package. Those are still in plastic. Why would you throw those away? I think some of this stuff's salvageable. Okay, I'm normally not a trash picker, but this stuff, there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this stuff. Well, it's on the curb. That means it's a... Uh... Oh, someone's, someone's looking at me out the window. I'm going to go talk to the homeowner. All right, so I talked to the homeowner, and they said that there was, I guess the stuff was in the garage when they bought the house. It looks like it had some water damage and they were throwing it away. They said they're cool with me taking it. Um, technically, it's on the curb. I didn't have to ask, but I figured if they're staring at me, I should probably talk to them. But there's a ton of stuff here, guys. There's one, two, how many? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like 12 bags. So, and looking at some of it, it's salvageable. I mean, obviously, some of this stuff's got to go in the trash, but I'm going to dig through it see what we can find. I bet you there's got to be good stuff here. I'm just going to take all the bags and uh, take it back to the shop and go through it and see what we got. Alright, we're all loaded up. I barely got them all to fit in there. So hopefully we got some good stuff in there. Looks like a lot of modern stuff, like from the 90s. But uh, hey, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Alright guys, this is unbelievable. We are going to bring this stuff actually in the shop. I'm not bringing this stuff. Um, this place is still a construction site and I have a dumpster, so if a lot of this is nasty, which it looks like, uh, I'll have somewhere to toss it. Um, but I think a lot of it's going to be salvageable. I cannot believe how lucky I just go out. Well, I shouldn't uh, say I'm lucky yet because I don't know what's in these things, but we're going to find out. So let me get this stuff inside and then uh, I'll go through it all. But like I said, we got a dumpster here, so I still have room. If there's a bunch of nastiness, I don't want to have that anywhere uh, around people. So, all right, time to unload. That is the filled my entire truck. That's insane. I've crazy crazy all right guys unbelievable i cannot believe <laughs> I, I don't trash pick I, I, eh, whatever you know one one man's trash another man's treasure I, i'm just glad i saw this i was driving and i saw i saw this star wars box sticking out of the bag you see the bags ripped so i don't know if someone else was looking through it and just didn't take it because it looked like it was gross but or maybe it was just ripped but anyway i was driving saw this bag with that sticking out got out of the truck and looked and I found all these bags full of toys. I mean, obviously they're not all in mint condition. I'm going to get some gloves before I start going through all this stuff because I don't know if it's just toys or if there's, like, nastiness in there. But how many do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags, hopefully full of toys. So what I'm going to do is I brought these over to the shop because no one lives here. It's already a disaster. Um, a lot of this might have to go in the trash or be... Uh, put back in the trash I should say but I got my little handy dandy bench where I can spread stuff out take a look at it and at the end zoop, and then these go in the garbage it goes right in that garbage can so I'm gonna get a pair of gloves on and uh start playing in the trash what's the saying one man's trash is another man's treasure all right guys well I went and got some uh rubber gloves here and I brought some of the uh, Lysol wipes from the house this stuff like I said I mean you saw it was in the garbage some of it looks like it has some nastiness on it so I figured this would be good to have uh Cakes or something really gross. I'm hoping there's no food or anything weird in here. But again, when you see a bunch of bags of toys on the curb, you gotta try to save them. You gotta try to save them. So, I got a couple boxes so I don't have to re bag this stuff in these nasty trash bags. But without further ado, let's go through this stuff. So, what I have here is I have my little table set up and I'm gonna kind of just dump it out. Um, well, maybe not. I'll just pull it out one by one. And the stuff like, like this Batman, ugh. So Batman here is pretty gross. Um, well, the box is pretty gross. Spider web with dead bugs in here. Yeah. But the figure himself is actually, you know, he's, he's the figure's, <laughs> he was almost not mint condition, but he still is. His wing's not. But uh, 
So yeah, stuff like this, this is salvageable to me. I think this is this is stuff that can be saved. Um, it's plastic, and if it's got something on it, you can wipe, wipe it off, but it doesn't look like anything got into the plastic. So a little trash can down there, and I uh, should have brought some bags. I have little bags I use to put loose figures in. Um, but we have Fred Flintstone from uh, the Flintstones movie. Again, that's a... Uh, yeah, just the packaging's nasty. But figure himself is uh, in good shape. So now some stuff like this, this is just, I mean, reboot. I, remember, I don't know if you remember that it was like a short-lived cartoon, but that box is just disgusting. It's covered in nastiness. Um, like this one, this, this box has got to go. Ugh. I'll, I'll go through all the boxes after each bag. It'll take a little bit of time to go through it all. Um, but here's one. This is uh, the McFarland Monsters, I believe. Hunchback of no, yeah, this is Hunchback of Notre Dame, Newt's the Thumb. But the figure's in good shape. I mean, the figures again, they're minty. It's just the boxes that's bad. I mean, I guess if you're not into toys and you find a bunch of toys in the house you move into, you just throw it away if it's all moldy looking. But not me. I'm gonna save as much of this as possible. Hopefully all of it. So we have some Kiss figures here. This is one of the McFarlane like, Kiss figures. Now, none of these are super expensive figures anyways, uh, but again, for what I paid for them, uh, the effort of getting out of a, my truck in the snow and cold and grabbing them, it was well worth it. So, Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, these things, are, they're not super expensive either. Uh, again, if this was in mint condition on the box, you know, in the, in the card like this on the box, on the card, um, it'd probably be like what, a $6 figure, $5 figure. Loose or less, obviously, but... Um, who is this? Now here's, that's not the packaging for this figure, but I'm not sure who this is. So like this one here, you can see, this one must not have been in the package because this one has some funk on the arm. Um, but that's why I have my handy dandy wipes and uh, we will take care of that. Um, I'm just gonna stand to something. I do not want to strike, but I will. Local 1970, it's like an old union pin. It's all rusty and uh, gross. Here's another Kiss figure. Some moldy packaging. Um, what is this from? Bishop Desert Storm. Oh, okay, it's from Aliens. So, like this one, I mean, this paper is just it's destroyed. That's 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 gone. But uh, we do have an Aliens figure here. The, the, that paper was like covered in mold. Not worth dealing with. Uh, this goes to one of the Star Trek figures that's hopefully in there. A uh, little Matchbox Sequest. Now, like this packaging is just, it's rank. I mean, I know we talked about it in that one video that sometimes the packaging is, you know, just destroyed. This, this is one that I'm not going to put, I'm not going to hang this up in the shop. You know, that's got to be removed from the packaging. The figure salvageable, we'll uh, sell the figure. Here's another one, Dr. Beverly Crusher. And she was crushed. Uh, ooh, Gargoyles. Who remembers the Gargoyles cartoon? Here's, uh, I believe his name is Bronx. From Gargoyles. Yeah, Bronx, it says right on the package there. But, again, the figure, good shape. For being out in the garbage. A couple matchboxes. I don't know who, what, I mean... Again, I guess if you're not into toys and you put all this stuff, you're like, yeah, it's disgusting, I'm not touching it. Uh, you'd probably throw it in the trash, too, but... Um, that's from uh, Reboot. That's probably the figure that went to that moldy card. Ooh, Flying Deluxe Special Flying Queen from Aliens. This is from the, um, well, the Kenner that did these back in the 90s. That's cool. Those are really cool figures, actually. Um... Sure, what this thing is? It's like an octopus. Uh, yay! We got Xena, Warrior Princess. That box is crushed. It's not really moldy. So, like something like this, I, I might be able to fold that back. I don't know. I might just. Uh, it's not moldy or nothing. So, it's funny. Some of these things are just crusty and disgusting. And Clown Commander. I don't know what that is. Maybe the figures in here loose. Battlestar Galactica box. Okay. Um, 
Oh, it doesn't say clown commander, it says Cylon commander. This is for this, so we'll see if the Cylon commander's in here. Uh, that's Star Trek, moldy. Nothing in it, no figure. Here's Deep Space Nine, this is Quark. I mean, the package is there for the accessory, but again, guys, that is... I mean, I guess I could see why you throw that away. If you didn't, you know, realize that these had some kind of value. You got Quark there. That's the Alien Queen's box. I mean, again, not really a salvageable item. Can you see now why I'm doing this on a construction site instead of taking this to my house to go through it? Oh, that is disgusting. I am glad I have gloves on. these Star Trek figures seem to have got the worst of it. I don't see the figures, it's just the boxes and the little, uh, uh what is this? Mini, mini tea set? I mean, it's just kind of like a generic, yeah, it's just going in the trash. Ugh. I thought some of the stuff in the Yankees house was nasty in that basement. Ken, the mold edition. Again, I mean, most of these Barbie dolls don't have much value, so being moldy and actually on the figure, I might toss in. Another Star Trek box. Oh, here's some of those figures, or a figure. Lieutenant uh, Carey. Um, I think this one was that. Yeah, that goes with that reboot guy. And last but not least, in here. Is uh, so this one has like a trading card. Oh, the trading card should be good. To say it has a trading card, so it might be nasty. But this is like spider web and bug. I should I should know by now not to do that. Good thing he's a hologram. Yeah, he's no worse for the wear. It's actually probably a little better now that he's not in there. So we got the holographic doctor. But yeah, that's that one, guys. Um. Ugh. But yeah, it's uh, you know, not bad. I mean, some of the stuff needs to be removed from the packaging. But one bag down and uh, ugh, 12 left to go. All right, guys, I switched the camera up a little bit for the next bag so you can have a better view of the stuff I'm pulling out. Um, and less of my ugly mug. But um, so this one here, we have, these are still in the packaging. I mean, they don't look like there's any mold or anything i've been using my wipe when i was putting the other stuff away yeah that's just on the outside um so yeah these things are uh, still sealed in the packaging i don't think they're going to be an issue with those so we got that one we got the cougar eliminator we got the uh that's me if i was an action figure that's what Quark, and that's just a Ferengi, generic Ferengi. But he looks kind of gross, so let's just see. I'm, like, I'm sitting there literally polishing a Ferengi's head. So, yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I can see why, like, if you didn't want to deal with this stuff, you'd throw it away. But, you know, when my business is to sell vintage toys and, you know, recover memories, this is a. Uh, about as recovering of a memory as you can get. Literally saved it from the trash. So, yeah, it, it comes clean. That comes clean. I mean, yes, I'm going to have to spend some time and, and wipe these down, but it looks like it's brand new. I mean, other than the, you know, mold. Or, I, I don't know if it's mold. It's a mildew or funk or whatever is on there. So, let me, get, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think. Would you have stopped and grabbed this stuff? I mean, there's, what, 13 bags? I mean... Yeah, it's going to take me some time, but most collections I buy, I end up having to clean the stuff. You know, this is just a, a little different kind of cleaning. And most of this stuff, the hard plastic's going to clean right up. So why, why throw it away? You know, why let that go to the, go to the dump? I'm saving some stuff from the landfill and, um, you know, getting some merchandise out of it. I mean, some of the stuff, this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Like, I might open this one up and look, because this looks like it got some uh, water or moisture inside on the actual cardboard. So that's the one thing I want to be leery of with stuff like this. 
I do want to make sure like this one looks like it's in a little bit worse shape than those other ones. So what I'll try to do is I'll slit the plastic on that and look on the inside and see. And if it's you know if it's long gone or too far gone, then, then you know maybe we'll just go in the trash. But it's plastic. So you know, we got the the bat wing here. More of the bat wing. More of the bat wing. Is there a box on that? Okay, <laughs> there's a giant clown face. I know what this is. It's one of the, the Joker's gang members, or one of the clown guys. But let's see the figures in there. Look at this thing. Wow, what is that? Um, McFarlane something. Kind of has that McFarlane toy look. Let me adjust my lighting here, guys. Once... All right, I know this isn't the ideal setup to do a video, but um, like I said, I don't want to take this stuff. Um, to my workspace. I'd rather just do it here on the construction site and uh, the ruins of the old novelty shop, as I like to call it. So we got a Dinky Toy Cinderella's Coach. Um, so that box doesn't look like it has any water damage to it. Um, 1976. That's older. I thought most of this stuff was going to be new. But yeah, that's, uh, that's older than me. That thing's old as dirt. Box is a little worse for the wear. This is a Matchbox car. There's another model. Like again, this one does look like it had some water damage to it. So, again, I'll have to see uh, if the car is salvageable. The model itself, it should be made out of plastic, and if the you know directions are fine. I don't see why it would be an issue, as long as it's not covered in anything. What is this thing? I'm not sure what that is. Rumble robots. It is from 2001, so I was going to say it's not that old, but geez, it's 20 years old. <laughs> God, we're getting old, guys. Gals. I don't know what that is. Like this plush stuff, uh, I don't know. That's that's probably not going to be something I'm going to try to save. That's How old is this thing? Yeah, I don't know. And that's got mechanicals. That That's probably, you know, I'm not going to try to salvage some of that here's a star wars calendar that's probably toast i'll stick those aside for now got hot wheels uh the billionth car collection Ooh, win a real 63 corvette instantly what if this was the one that had like the winning ticket from 1990 um shining time station sir topham's hat sir topham hats car Ertle. That's not too bad. I don't think that's uh, that's just dirt. Yeah, and these cards. I mean, I found you can wipe them, and you know, as long as you're not saturating them, they'll be fine. They'll dry on their own. Beanie Baby heart protectors. Now, I don't carry Beanie Babies. I don't buy Beanie Babies. I want nothing to do with Beanie Babies. So, if you love Beanie Babies, I got some heart protectors for you. So here's some more uh, some cars. I'm probably going to have to break this up into several videos, guys, because I'm on bag two, and I think we've been going for about 20 minutes already. Oh, that's cool. Jurassic Park seven-piece train set. Ooh, it's authentic. Authentic-y. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not big into the trains and the die-cast cars, but uh, Jurassic Park's sweet, and that's pretty sweet. What is this thing from? 1997. That's cool. The box is uh, a little smushed, but doesn't look too bad. But yeah, guys, the store's coming along uh, slowly. I'll, I'll do a little walkthrough here and, uh, to end this video, show you guys what we've got done, which is actually probably nothing since the last time I've done one because we've been waiting on these metal channels. But uh, we got this Road Champs Flyer um, F4U Corsair ABG2. That's pretty cool. What is it? Oh, uh, okay. All right. This is cool. Can you tell what that is? It's a little Batmobile. Is this the really old fertile one? I mean, this should have. Yeah, it's broken. This is, uh, yeah, this is the old, uh, I can't make it out. I'll say it's Corgi maybe makes these. 
That's pretty cool. I wish it wasn't broken, but it looks like the glass is broken. That's probably something you could get a replacement for. And the back, uh... Oh, that's actually in there, so... The back cannon is on there. So this looks like one of those bags you would cook rice in. I don't... This isn't the bag this was supposed to be in, I don't believe. This literally looks like one of those boil-a-bag rice bags. Um... Dynaflights, but there's no vehicle in it. Um... We have a Klingon. Is it like a micro machine or something. Open your head for me. There we go. Yeah, this is like a little uh, micro machine type thing. I don't want to open it. I'll probably spill his brains everywhere. So, but we have a Klingon head that opens. Can't beat that. You can't go wrong with a Klingon head that you can rip open. This box is toasty. It's got water damage. But inside we have... This must have been a mail away. Maybe? Or maybe this was an interior box. No, nah, it's just like an interior box. But, uh... The Star Wars figure. Again, that box is toast. Like, something like that, it's not worth keeping. Here's a Cylon Centurion. But yeah, I mean, this, this stuff... I'll probably try to wipe these down if the packaging is not too bad. Well, this one might be. This one might be salvageable to where it's uh, can be sold in the packaging. As long as there's no like mildew or anything disgusting on it, I'll probably try to leave those in the packaging. I'll, I'll wipe them down and see. That's cleaning up pretty decently. Johnny Lightning. Ooh, the mummy had its own car. That's cool. That's not in bad shape, considering it was pulled out of a, off the curb. What is this? Just kind of a, like a little uh, Halloween thing. is on a spring in there. A little Grim Reaper. There's no brands or anything on it. It's kind of just a generic little guy. Oh, we have another... Uh, ooh, ooh. All right. So I don't know if this person was a collector or what. The person that uh, stored all this stuff. But this looks like the A-Team van. Oh. Hurdle, yeah. I don't know. Was that a sticker on there? Is that just... Yeah, that should come off. It's, it'll probably where the stickers used to be. But, uh, get the A-Team. I pity the fool who put my car inside of a rice bag. So we have another. It's a Dale Earnhardt Olympic train. We have some futuristic-looking uh, Husky models made in Great Britain. Never heard of Husky. It's, I mean, I know the tool Husky. Never seen a little car like that, but it's pretty neat. It's got little people inside of it. Um, that's probably that Dynaflights. It's missing its propeller. Um, here's another one of those little wobbler guys. It looks like her hand is broken off. Fun World Division Easter Unlimited. Yeah, just like a little Halloween decoration. Oh, sweet! Here's another Batmobile. I mean, these things are in junk shape, but, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of guys that do restorations on this type of stuff. So that's cool. We got two little Batmobiles. Legendary Dad Official League Baseball. That's me right there. I'm a legendary dad. My kids think so anyways. Uh, that box is pretty toasty. Um, so we got this one here. We got another NASCAR die, uh, die cast uh, truck. this all right so there's a lot of older stuff in here i'm actually kind of surprised just an old corgi uh police car looks like it's missing some of its sirens and stuff like that oh no master luke please don't drink coffee out of my brain looks like we have a uh c3po cup it looks i don't know if it's supposed to be that color but it is really discolored i don't know if they'll clean up or not but we'll give it a shot Again, guys, you know what? For the price I paid for this, which was uh, it's another mummy car, I'll take it, right? There's nothing wrong with this stuff. This stuff's in a... Uh, a lot of this stuff's going to be sellable. What do you think? Would you... Uh, I know I asked, but would you have stopped and grabbed this if you would have saw it? I mean, literally all I saw was the one Star Wars box, and I was like, ooh, that looks intriguing, and then I go over there and 
Okay, this is cool. BJ, uh, that's BJ and the Chimp, right? That's in the box still. That's neat. I actually sold a similar one of these already. Um, not too long ago, but this one is in Spanish. It says uh, Argentina. That's pretty cool. You never know what you're going to find. I, I mean, I really did not think I was going to be driving around one day and see a trash bag full of freaking toys. And then it turned into being 13 trash bags full of toys. So I'll take this. I will take this all day long. Ooh, this one's mysterious. Handle with care. Fragile. What we got? I kind of feel like a trash picker, but whatever. Like I said, it's, uh... <laughs> you know, sometimes life gives you lemons and you make lemonades. So, that's cool. Barry's Customs. Hot Wheel Legend. And then there's something else that was in there, too. So, there was this foam thing on the top, so... Okay, sweet! 96. Bunch of little Matchbox cars. That's cool. Man, you don't see cars like... Well, you do see cars like that anymore. They don't make cars like that anymore. They never made those when I was a kid or alive, but uh, I appreciate them. I think they look really cool. Maybe they'll bring that back. That needs to, that needs to be the new style. I know they tried with, what was it, I remember it was with the Thunderbird when I was a kid. They brought the, well, when I was a kid, shoot, I was in the Marines when that came out. My dad had one. But the new, when they brought the Thunderbird back and had that really retro look, I thought that was cool. So this bag's almost empty. We have a little bit more in here. I'm going to dump what's left out. And, ooh, Power of the Force Jawas. Again, these figures aren't super expensive even in the box, but I get, they're cool, and uh, you know people like them. It's a good way to introduce people, like kids. If you have kids that are uh, into Star Wars, oh, here we go. We found the propeller for this. That's good, because no one wants to buy a plane with no propeller. So there we go. He's in a, he's fixed. I'm an airplane mechanic now. Awesome. But uh, like I was saying. You know, if you want to get your kids into Star Wars and you want to do it cheap, you know, you can buy uh, these Power of the Force figures instead of buying the, the vintage lines, which can be a lot more expensive. So here's from Independence Day. Uh, yeah, like this box. Uh, that's on the outside. If it cleans up, it cleans up. If not, then it's a loose figure. But eh, that one's probably going to... Eh, we'll see. We'll see how that one turns out. And uh, we got two more things in here. We have the Flintstones... Flintmobile. I did not know it had a name. I did not know it was called the Flintmobile. I just thought it was Fred Flintstone's car, but apparently it is the Flintmobile. And last but not least, we have a Jeff Gordon Star Wars Episode 1 NASCAR. It's in a little, that's in a little hard case. The box isn't too bad. So there we have it, guys. Um, I'm going to clean this up, and this will be the end of the part one of this video. I'm not going to make a three hour long video going through all these bags but i will go through the rest of them and kind of break it up into little videos let me know in the comments do you want to see the videos um up close like this or is it better when i'm standing there and you get to see my ugly bug i'm assuming more people would rather see the toys than me i know i would so uh let me know in the comments below guys and if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe and notification and share the videos if you enjoy them thanks guys and we will see you on the next trash bag